Okie dokie, so this is just a video to better explain what I can't type. How to turn on two-step verification. So, security is set up for your g Gmail. So you have to have a Gmail. You have an account like you can go to this is my other account thing, whatever it is. Click on your icon, Grim Reality. Uh, probably should go to your Gmail. You can do the Google homepage, but I just say Gmail because convenience. Because everyone, if you have a Gmail, you should be able to get into your Gmail. You click on your face. You want to go to account. Account. Now you get this huge list of stuff. There's your personal information, phone stuff, and all that. You got sign in. You got recovery emails. Now here's the thing: sign in, two-step verification. You're gonna need to click on that to turn it on. And now you have the setup. So let's start setting it up. Now, it already has my phone number, so it just needs that. So, have it send a test code. Now, if you have a cell phone, you can use a text message. That's what uh, the SMS means, text message. If you have a regular home phone, or if you have not a cell phone, you can use your, uh, see, you can use voice call or just text message. That's what this means. I'm going to use text message for my cell phone. So I did get one. I just have to wait for the next one because I restarted. I don't know if I... Okay. I think I got the second one. Oh, and it resend the same one because there's like a time span on those. Eight, seven, six. Eight, four, two. So we type in that to verify that this phone is working. And you can set your personal computer to be trusted, which means you don't have to type it, have to get the code every time you sign into a computer or your main computer, but every other computer that's not trusted will uh, still require the thing. So, yeah, this is uh, what it's talking about. Or you can just. If it recommends a backup phone, like I'll use my home phone back in uh, Washington. Zero personal. Hey, type. <laughs> but yeah, this was going to solar, but I was going to type out. But then it seemed a bit complex to t kind of describe where to click. So I just uh, thought this video would be more helpful than me trying to explain where you need to click. And this this is a home phone, so it needs voice call. And it's option to make sure it works, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to call home and ask them to tell me what the message say. Now you can print up backup codes. So that's what I have in my wallet. I actually just printed new ones out today, just working on stuff. Just print it out. And so that way, if you don't have your cell phone and you don't have your... Uh, uh, thing actually, let's uh, I'll print some right now, and I'll, I'll I won't hide it because I will uh, I'll just make new ones after this video. But let's uh, do make backup codes because that's just what I usually use before I had a cell phone. So here it is. Now you can save it, which technically isn't the safest thing to do, but you can print it. So we'll print it. So printer. I, did they even print it to the right thing? I don't even know if this camera's even looking at it. So you just print it. Eh, I think got it. Readjust. Yeah. Eh. Messed up with my camera. So you print it, and then you can just use it. So you can click this part right here to generate new codes, which is what I'm going to do in a bit. So let's close that. So now it's on. Two step is on right here. So let's say I, I log out, sign out. Now this computer should be trusted. But it's going to check to see if it's up to date. Remind me later or update now or it looks good, which it is. I just now set everything. I have 10 unused backup codes. And when you run low, like say you got two left, you should probably. Uh, Check it. Now let's see if I can get it to where I need to sign in through a 
because I turned on trust. Let me see if I can't turn off trust on this computer. Registered computers. Does not require code. Remove this computer from my trusted list. Okay. Now let's log out. Sign out. Now let's sign back in. Sign in. And there it is. Now you're going to see this phone light up. Oh, I just pressed a button. Oh, and now I got a now I got a new thing, new code this time. But let's say I don't have that code. I can't enter it in. So I can say problem receiving your codes. You can use the backup phone or backup codes or you have to do the really lengthy thing where you have to talk to people. But let's use a, a backup code. So that's what we can use this for. And you'll see these things have check marks box. So and if all those work good, that should work. And now it works. Boom. Now I'm gonna turn back on I guess I already set this to remember. So that's two-step verification in motion. Hopefully this recorded just right.